Hello brothers and sisters, I am Cardinal Samantha Kennedy of the Ecumenical Order of Christ. Now, today I want to have a really good discussion with you because uh, the best way I can describe it is that you are not paying attention and which is very stupid and you're, you're going to be destroyed because of your own lack of knowledge and action. And yet many people keep saying you know, why didn't the Lord show himself for all that time, and etc, etc, they don't get it. Where's the scripture that says he hides his face? <sighs> you know, all they had to do was look for the Bible and see. But they couldn't even be bothered. They were too lazy to even understand or to look. To seek and he shall find. Right? So, I shall give you those scriptures. Deuteronomy, for instance. I'll read it out to you. Okay. Deuteronomy 32, which is verse 20. He said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end will be. What, be, what will be their end. For they are a perverse generation children of unfaithfulness and then of course there's Deuteronomy 31 verse 17 and in that day I will become angry with them for and forsake them I will hide my face from them and they will be destroyed many disasters and calamities will come on them and in that day they will ask have not these disasters come us because of our God is not with us? See, they're there. You only have to look with your eyes. Search. That is why he hid his face since 2011 on his arrival. And he was judging the nations and the people. And he had to chastise those nations and those people but it's like you just don't get it in your thick head that he's doing this that he's judging you and now he made that announcement recently on his birthday birth date and it was like the, near the end of the jubilee okay because the actual jubilee officially ended on the 16th of June. You ain't got time left. Let's face the facts. If you're still in Babylon, you're screwed. And you brought it upon yourself. Because you decided, you thought you knew better. You thought it wasn't going to happen. Well, it's coming. Now, you were given a set period of time. Because he knew how bloody lazy you are and how stubborn you are and how long it takes you to pack a simple bag or have the idea of actually thinking, yes, I'll do this. I'll leave and I'll go and do what I'm told and obey. Yeah? But you're so pig-headed and stubborn and bloody stupid that you don't get it in here what's happening around you you can't see past the end of your nose I want you to answer, answer this question because you know that his saints the clergy that are in service of him will be sitting on the thrones think now why on earth, for example, you know that I'm one of them, why, for example, would I even want to have someone like you within my kingdom or my brothers and sisters' kingdoms? Why would they choose you? Why would they accept someone like you? 
when you can't even be bothered to obey a simple command that was issued way back in 2011. Why should we choose someone like you who constantly thinks that you're better than the Father? Who constantly thinks they're better than the Lord in thinking that nothing is going to happen, that everything's going to stay the same, and yet everything's happening around you. You're so blind. And the thing is, if you say now that you are not blind, that you see everything happening around you, then your sin remains. Your sin remains. And you will be judged upon it. Your book will be opened up in front of us. And every single thing you've ever done is in that book. Now why should we choose you? Think. If you haven't obeyed the command... I suggest you move your lazy backsides now. Because it's going to happen. The Lord says that's it. The end begins. To do the right thing. Leave Babylon. Otherwise you will suffer its fate. And their nuclear war is going to happen. All the plagues are going to happen in one day against America. In one day. So if you're there, I've got not much hope for you. Just think about it. And I will say, love God. Love each other. Amen. Bye for now.